So I was going to um, utilize all my old uh, pulleys that I have from uh, donations from old boats, etc., that I collect. But frankly, this is this is a beautiful piece of hardware and, and could be used in another boat build. And all I really need is some basic pulleys for a rope steering system um, to get back to my uh, motor. And um, just, frankly, angle brackets and, um, and round uh, pulley wheels is all I need. So I thought I'd try to make some. So here's a prototype I did yesterday. Just uh, two halves of uh, three eighths uh, ply, marine mar maranti ply or marianti ply or however it's said. I really don't know. But bottom line is, um, and then I have this angle iron. So it finished up, I thought, quite nice. Maybe the uh, circular, the groove is a little deep, but that's just adjusting a cove bit and it's all good. And it can be sanded and everything. Anyway, it can be sanded and everything just chucked up in a drill. But I used just a hole saw on my drill press to drill out the two, two uh, halves and then use the bolt to, to uh, clamp it together. So I'll show you how I do that. But you can see where two angle irons, one on either side, and I have some lengths kicking around. This is aluminum angle iron. So that can be cut with a with a carbide uh, blade or a grinder blade and shaped and sanded smooth and painted out and would never have to worry about rot and with some uh, um, washers in between and whatnot we can get a good pulley system going to run the line down go underneath the floorboard here and it has to go over and see some of the pulleys I have just wouldn't suit I really just need one down in the corner over here right in here so that the the line comes up and then runs over top of the um, the bench and turns and runs over top of the bench so um, probably I'll surface mount it so that it clears clears uh, the top of the uh, bench seat so you see it and then another one in the corner and there I may use the traditional spring-loaded um, um, Police, I have one of them, so I'm. I just have to source one more. But I may try to make my own as well, uh, because I like to do those sort of things. So, is it cost effective? Maybe not. But on the other hand, I bet you this thing will last many, many years. And if I need to, I can remake them. So then I'm in full control of the circumstance. I can get any size I want. I'm not having to run around and source anything, they're crazy expensive. Like something like that, I don't know what it goes for, but it's like not $20. So the question is, in an hour or so, can I make, I can probably make five of these in an hour once I get good at it. So yeah, I'm going to go make some pulleys. So making these pulleys, you can see these are the first two blanks. I use a Marianti, Marianti um, uh, ply, so there's many plies in here. Uh, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ply. And I believe it's three-eighths at a glance. No, it might be, no, it's not quarter inch. Uh, oh, you know what? It's metric, so it'll be just shy of three-eighths. Nope, three-eighths, kind of. Um, probably... Uh, 30 second shy of 3 eighths. So, but basically it's what's called 3 eighths. Everything's gone metric. So, basically, there are 12 blanks. Now, ready to get to the next step. Uh, that sheet I showed you, I used all, I was short ones. I had another, I went looking around, had another scrap. Now, if you don't have Marianti or Marine Ply, I would I would uh, recommend it should be Marine uh, or exterior grade. So that gives me two extra blanks to play with. Okay, I have a router table, but I don't bother setting it up. I have um, one of these Jurgensen clamps. I just clamp it all up. I have a little stop clamped here so that I can come off this because your fingers are going to be quite close. So I suggest you, uh, there are other ways to guard it. So I highly recommend you guard it. 
Um, but with this little stopper here, I can get on the bearing without it taking off on me and maybe catching my finger, if you get what I'm, I'm saying. So at any rate, I, I just uh, started that and did a little bit. That's one. Uh, where do I put them? Over here. So I drilled down enough that there's enough of a flat and then the burr section is here. So that's what's getting routered away. So we'll do another and you'll see the routering process. It doesn't take long, but you want to be careful. Okay, there's two. So when these two, I made my, um, my radius a little bit tighter by uh, dropping the router bit, the cove router bit. But there you go, there's, uh, there's two. Is, uh, I will clamp this by putting a bolt through with, um, with a nut and washer, and that'll hold it together with, uh, with some exterior grade um, type bond uh, two is what I'm using. Um, yeah, so there's your basic shape. So there's uh, the glue squeezed on, there we go. It's lightly hammered <laughs> on, so it's not uh, wrecking the, uh... oh, that washer's not. By the time I'm um, said and done, the pressure will have held it together for a couple minutes that I'll be doing this. Maybe even five minutes that I'll be doing it. So I'm just going to hand tighten that and uh, use it. So I'm using a folded over um, sandpaper here. And uh, maybe I'll spin off the, the glue a little bit. Just clean that off a bit so it doesn't clog the sandpaper. Smooth that up a bit. Okay, best to uh, set it up firmly on a surface. It's like turning on a, um, like you would on a uh, lathe. Really kind of cool. It's fairly smooth. I'm going to reverse it. So it's a little rough that way, so now I'll do it this way. So I'm using a mahogany stain here. Don't spin it too crazy. You're going to end up uh, getting it all over yourself, right? But there, that's stained. Now, one last step. Hold on. Just get it right in there. One last step is to now get a rag and give it a good dry down. Here, spinning it is actually not a bad plan. Oh, I came loose there. I should have spun it the other way. I wonder if I can just tighten it by spinning it the other way. <laughs> there you go. That actually worked a little bit. So, clean it up. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, that was fun. All right. And you can see now that is one, one BC. That's just dust. One BC done. The stains almost feels dry. And just undo it. So I might actually use a wrench next time to, uh, to uh, do it up. And uh, yeah, <sighs> so that's pretty nice, I think. And that is one pulley wheel, a metal work. I'll show you um, 
I'll show you um, later. But yeah, there you go. I'll just show you one more time because I, I've gotten into a routine now. I've got uh, two completed. So they look pretty good, I think. And um, I'm on to number three. So it looks like I'll get number 10 done pretty quick. And actually, I'll make 12. Um, but I didn't have to scrap any. They're all working out rather well. So I have a new routine that is much uh, more manageable. So you get on to this and, and, and where I feel it's smooth and comfortable and blah, blah, blah. So I'll just show you that way. So I start over here. Come over. Spin and it's on the wood. And I go around twice. One time to clear the wood, another time to make sure I didn't miss anything. And so, so my fingers stay relatively far from the distance. I'm just rubbing it to get the uh, bur the bur little burl or whatever you call it, the fuzz out to the outside. So when I put the glue, it doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, go together. So onward. So just a little disclaimer here: nothing I do is safe, or do I recommend you do them, um, especially when it's. Uh, involves safety or use of tools or equipment. So uh, this is all experimental. You do at your own risk. So just to uh, show you there's some judgment involved, I said it's not a bad thing to heat it up, but you can heat it where it starts to smoke. Not sure if you can see it. But let's face it, you can make fire with this, right? So your rag, where I'm going with this, should be chucked outside when you're done uh, all your, all your um, just put it outside and someplace where it stays, uh, stays um, uh, can't catch anything on fire. So there you have them. They're looking pretty good. That is just a shine. It is stained here. It's just the shine of the of the green, depending on how um, you tilt it, um, because of the different plies. But that glue now will dry overnight, and I will make up the metal parts necessary out of. Um, I have inch and a half by inch and a half angled um, angled uh, aluminum, so I'll do that. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll update you with the next stage on another day.